Thank you for joining me for another Friday beer video. Playing it safe this week. As much as possible I do like to try new beers on a Friday. And it doesn't always work out so well. So I'm playing it safe with the whole garden. I do like that name, whole garden. I think everybody should have a garden. Oh, right. So we've got 750 ml of 4.9% wheat beer. This is a, a nice summer beer. Takes a chill well. Bit lively. <coughs> And when you order it in a pub on draft, it's served in a big glass plant pot. Right, so there we go. Oh, that's lovely, that. Quite a fruity floral flavour, but a nice malty edge to it as well. So, if you've never had it, or if you've never had any wheat beer, whole garden, I like that. So, to business, knife tech's in the house, or is he? About three weeks ago, maybe a little bit more, my good friend Knife Tex sent me a gift package from Texas and was following the tracking from, well, first on USPS and then on Royal Mail. And on the 12th of September, the latest update was that it had left Heathrow Airport. And normally what you'd see is, a couple of days later, the next update will be received at Manchester Mail Centre. Then the day after that would be received at local delivery office. And the day after that would be out for delivery. But the trail stopped dead on the 12th, having left Heathrow Airport. And the customs have had it. Now got a bit of a beef with the customs. I've had quite a few things confiscated incorrectly and I've done videos on that in the past and it's certainly happened with stuff that Knife Tex has sent and they whipped a Kershaw Crown which at the time was available to buy from Heine Haynes. Not, le not illegal at all. So I waited and I waited, and you don't get any more updates if the customs select your package for inspection. And I don't actually have a problem with the inspection itself. I think security is more important nowadays than it's ever been. But I do have a problem with nicking stuff. And I do have a problem with the fact that if a package gets pulled by the customs for an inspection, you don't get any more tracking information at all and there's no reason why technologically there couldn't be appropriate updates so instead of just saying left Heathrow Airport on the 12th and you never get anything after that why can't it just say selected by customs then a few days later released by customs and then track it on the rest of its journey as it would be done normally. So anyway, on Wednesday it turned up, so that left Heathrow Airport, so basically it was lifted by the customs on the 12th and Wednesday would have been, what, the 25th. So 
nearly two weeks delay it finally turned up and as you'll have seen from the thumbnail there's a little sticker saying that they've been in it and had a look and sealed it up but the only way to find out whether any or all of it has got through customs was to do an unboxing okay so just coming up to 4.30 p.m. on Wednesday this is the parcel that was waiting for me I've put the duct tape on duct tape of privacy to cover up mine and knife Texas details the key tape that we need to be aware of is this here customs examination They've been in the box and they've had a nosy. And what I need to work out now is what, if anything, has made it through customs. So as I say, I'm just in from work and my pocket knife today been this case mini butter bean, a small canoe pattern. I'm just going to go straight in through the top there. Something at least has made it through customs. I don't know how much of the original contents have. The customs declaration did say there were multiple items. Oh now we've got a note. Ooh, let's have a look. Bear with me a moment. Right, thank you very much. I'm sure the uh, customs official enjoyed the artwork. So we've got, oh, it may well have all made it through. We've got one, two, three. A couple of fridge magnets. I'm just going to check my list again. I do believe it's all made it this time. Got a couple of fridge magnets. Austin being large town or city I should say probably not so far from where Knife Tex lives and the state capital and that's a, a 3D magnet as well very nice so we'll put those two to the side and we'll have a quick look through what these items are I'll do full videos on everything um, but we've got a Bantam now this is quite an old Bantam as you can tell from the uh, the emblem there and according to Amos's note we've got an older pattern of combo tool as well now I believe these items were picked up from a confiscation sale from the TSA the uh, not seen that tank stamp before. The TSA being the people who stop Americans or other people using American Airlines from carrying prohibited items on planes, and then they sell it all off. So that's really interesting. I like that. Then the next one is a Wenger. As again. You can see from the badge and this I believe is a Highlander he said so we've got the can opener 
cap lifter, screwdriver, wire stripper, a nail file and nail cleaning blade, and the main cutting blade. We've got a uh, keyring there. Oh, and on the back we've got Phillips. And an all. So quite a useful range of tools on that one. Very nice indeed. Get back in focus. And then this one. I've just referred to my notes again, to Knife Tex's letter. A book light tool 355. Appears unused, not seen very often, and quite pricey on eBay when you do. And Knife Tex's comments are that the manufacturing is good, but the design's flawed. So let's see what we've got. Oh. Oh no. Let's move these out of the way and get refocused. I've never seen anything like this before. And it does look completely blemish free. So I reckon Amos is right that this has not been used. So how do we get... Oh, right. Oh. Interesting. Nice play ahead. Not sprung, but feels solid-ish. No, actually that's unfair, that feels very solid. And then we've got some tools in the handles. So we move that out of the way. We've got a blade, part serrated. Just check the focus again. And then we've got a set of three screwdrivers. This is really cool. I'm suspecting that the design floor is going to be about how this fancy mechanism pans out in real world use. Because I can't immediately see any issues with it. We've got a big chunky file there. Oh, We've got a very Stabby all there. That'd be uh, actually that could be a bit of a concern if you're not careful. Uh, half thickness Phillips screwdriver, and I assume that's uh, just a lanyard ring. Now, I was just concluding a quick tour of the tools on this. Uh, talking about the lanyard ring, when the memory ran out on the camera phone. So, let's pick up where we left off. That's a quick overview of the tools. I'll do a proper full review when I've had um, a chance to play with it. It's not immediately obvious what the design problems are that Knife Text was alluding to. I'm going to assume at the moment that it's to do with this funky opening mechanism because I haven't seen anything like this before and that suggests to me that this way of doing it didn't catch on so perhaps this um, setup is going to have implications in, in use but it's a lovely thing, it is very well made and it doesn't appear to have been used at all. And it's a lovely gift. So thank you very much to Knifetex for my multi-tool, my wenger, 
and my Victorian ox and of course my Texas fridge magnets so thanks again mate and thanks for watching so there you have it Customs have opened the box up, they've inspected the contents and they forwarded it all on unmolested. Very surprised at that, pleasantly surprised as you'd imagine, but I really thought some stuff would have gotten nicked as it has done in the past. So a big thank you to Knife Tex, I'll put a link to his channel below. Very good friend, makes some great videos. Uh, I assume you probably already subbed to him, but if you're not, I'd, I'd recommend you check him out. So thanks again to Knife Techs, and thanks for watching. <laughs>